Yo, what is going on, everyone? So today we're gonna take a look at LK CEO stock, Lu Kong Technology, and what is going on with LKCO. So these are going to be some new updates and just some information I found that I want to share with you guys because a lot of major things are about to happen in just a short amount of time. So actually looking at it right now, LKCO was at a low around like 88 cents, give or take just a few days ago. And now we did go, had a little, quite a small spike in price at 148, give or take. And now we're currently at 130. Now I'm using the one day chart, but I probably would go deep dive into a small time frame if you guys are looking at the short term uh, fluctuations. But just giving you an overall view, I just drew a trend line with like the uh, bottom of the candle sticks right here and then also right here. So, so far we are trending upward slightly. And then at this low point, we have about 80 cents at this high, at least in the last week. I mean, if you're looking at that, that's, that's a big, big increase. But obviously there's a lot more crazier things to keep in mind regarding LKCO that I'm about to share with you guys regarding the listing and updates like that. And just run this video for entertainment purposes only. This is not financial advice. Be sure to do and research before making any investments. Now, what is the charts looking like right now? So currently it's Thursday. And last time, usually at the end of the week, people decide to sell off potentially. We can see actually right now that the red candlestick is starting to form on the one day. And potentially, I think that we could see this drop slightly in the next day or so. It all depends right now on the overall market. Previously, the market was taking a massive dip, not just LKCO, but all the other stocks. And then we see this big spike in um, buy volume, and then all the other stocks pretty much followed in suit, right? Now, comparing it back to here, obviously, the buy volume is not even comparable. But at least right now, just looking at just basic support levels, we do have this candle wick right here way over here and pretty much i could see this potentially if it were to drop below could potentially touch this area and then maybe even bounce down below this trend line and then bounce back up but there's also a lot of factors you have to consider because this is the one day chart and the dates that supposedly updates are going on and things are about to be announced there's such a short time frame before these big announcements that i feel like i'm not sure if there's enough time to see that even drop below or if people are going to buy into the news aka they're going to buy the rumor then sell the news pretty much so looking at it right now what do i mean so currently look at it, it's like 29th of april right and supposedly there is a hearing i'll show you guys some more details on that within literally one two or we'll move over to, but May 3rd, it seems like that's going to be a announcement. We're going to get a better update, I'd say, on what's going on with LKCO. So within this short time frame, I mean, if it were to see a big red candle stick within these um, next few days, then potentially. But again, tomorrow is technically, we have Friday. And then that's basically going to be 30th. And then the weekend pretty much cuts us out two days. Then all of a sudden, now it's basically back over. Now it's May 3rd soon, right? So... Again, there's not too much time for us to see, um, you know, a big sell-off. Again, we could still see a slight sell-off, but depending on what happens on the 3rd of May, I think is going to determine a lot of things because technically, if you guys aren't aware, let me give you guys some uh, background really quick, is LKCO was supposedly going to get delisted. Now, this article is quite old back in March 11th, but it gives you a lot of um, big highlights, which are currently about to happen fairly soon. And... Pretty much they extended till May 8th, right? And they that's where they were basically going to give us the official, let's say, announcement. Like what actually is going to happen, right? So we can go in here and let's just read through it basically. And pretty much they state that um, these uh, restrictions will not take effect until May 8th. And that divestments will be permitted through March 9th of 2022. Now really quick, if you don't know what divestments mean, I'll just pull up a little definition on Google. And it's basically the action or process of selling off subsidiary business interests or investments. So basically, it looks like if worst case were to go, you have pretty much till March 9th of next year to figure out what to do with your um, holdings, right? Now, basically, upon May 8th, there's multiple things are going to happen, to my knowledge, at least what I've seen on Reddit and information I've gathered, that is going to dictate 
essentially how people are going to feel before this actually occurs, right? So let me bring this up over here. And I got this off of Reddit. Feel free to, um, if you have an actual link to it, feel free to like, uh, comment down below or just simply tell people what to search on Google. But you can see here, basically, this is the 5th, so May 3rd. And then if you go down here, we can see Lukong Technology Corp versus the U.S. Department of Defense, a.k.a. the DOD, right? So this is apparently going to happen on the 3rd of May. So by the time you're watching this, it's week or so from um, the dates. And this is going to occur at 11 o'clock a.m., I do not know what time zone this is, so feel free to um, fact check this down below or search yourself to see exactly the time uh, zone that this is going to uh, actually be up. And then basically, this is, I guess you can say, it's like the uh, first phases. I think there's more information I have to obviously look into regarding like upcoming till May 8th, but at least that's the most recent thing I could find uh, in terms of information. That a lot of people are talking about regarding May 3rd. That's why May 3rd, if you see on the Reddit post or just anyone probably mentioning a CEO, that's a big deal. So really, if I were to see this drop, I mean, there'd have to be quite a decent um, sell-off, I think. But looking at it at a one-day chart, I mean, we are above the 50 MA currently. So that is a good sign. So we could potentially form some support around the 50 MA if some people were to take profits because they might panic they might not think that LKCO is going to win and then they just, you know, exit and disappear pretty much. So short term, if that is the case and a decent amount of people decide to exit in uh, anticipation of the announcements and they don't want to wait, they don't want to risk anything, then yeah, they could probably exit out and we could see, you know, Rick Candlestick forming. But there's also the other half people who, I wouldn't say half, but there's also some people who just are holding LKCO for the long term and they believe that it's going to survive and they don't care really what happens with all this um, court stuff, right? So that only makes sense if LKCO survives, right? So again, we're still in a 50-50 battle right now. There isn't any confirmation yet if LKCO is going to survive or not. So if it does, then there's people who are holding long term, they could care less what happens in the short term and then they're just going to pretty much hold this until they decide to get out. And then obviously there's, I'd say, the other um, group of people who they're really sort of just like waiting to see what happens and then determining on what that actually is. Then we could see it either go crazy. We could see a big um, spike in the price, assuming um, the news is good. Or if the news is not very good, then I mean, we could see it sell off very quickly, right? So again, we'll have to wait and get a better determination by May 3rd. I can't really make any, I'd say long predictions because it's literally such a short time frame before this occurs so once after may 3rd happens we get more details then i'll make an update video but at least just looking at the basic charts we are above the 50 in may so that it's better than being below the 50 in may trending downwards in this area rsi still sort of just in the middle hovering chilling around here so in terms of that it's not too overbought or too oversold at least in these areas you can clearly see these massive green candlesticks that it's indicating that it's in the overbought territory so it's most likely going to free fall back down which it did here i mean it's not as uh, volatile right now so again a lot of major things are about to happen in the next few weeks that's definitely you want to keep your eye on and do comment down below if you have any other resources or thoughts that you think are going to happen but until then we'll just have to wait and see may 3rd at least is the most recent time for the updates and aside from that, guys, let me know what your price predictions are. And LKCO down below, do you think it's going to survive or do you think something's going to happen that I might not have seen? Let me know all that stuff in the comments below. And aside from that, be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe.